cut above a rabbit when it comes to a fur coat is the mink, who also must eat. And if a girl gets tired of waiting for that promised mink, well, like Nancy Hicks, she can breed her own. It's a mixture of meat, fish and bran that she and Len Lloyd prepare at this North London mink farm. Two years ago, when she was 19, her father bought Nancy 30 mink. Today, the 30 have multiplied to 400, and in two years, with the same careful handling, Nancy hopes to reach 1,000. Wait for it. With an appetite larger than his tummy, the mink can be as untamed as his native Canadian wilds. Exercise, though, is his birthright. That's why he's fed like that. He's as vicious as he's fussy. You can't palm anything off on him. No, Nancy doesn't try to hand feed him. He knows the food he wants, and given the chance, he'd snap off her finger just to make the meal tastier. The minks are spiteful little minks, hence his solitary confinement, but he even picks a fight with himself. It's the only safe way to move him, and his taste in weather is as bad as his behaviour. Pelting rain is what he likes for his pelt. It doesn't give him that English peach and roses colouring, but he does breed in such a colour as silver blue, besides the standard dark brown. Yes, this is the answer to that unfulfilled dream, girls, but don't forget that it takes 70 mink to make the one mink you want. Thank <laughs> you.